let's look at today thermochemistry and thermodynamics so first we have to take a system and what's a system is something like you take a beaker add 10 grams of water and uh, so that's called system right so this system we can um, also think we can compare this one with another system so look at this system I again have a beaker and 10 grams of water that's also a system right now what's the difference we can put a uh, this one is losing water vapor and this one we can put a lid tighten it by putting a lid so the first one is called open system second one is called the closed system now what is an isolated system so that would be the next thing right so that is actually simply a thermos the thermos is actually protecting the heat inside it right so that's the that's the fundamental difference no the first open system exchange matter and energy lose and gain in the closed system you only gain or lose energy isolated system isolated nothing is lost no no matter no energy is lost or gain so that's the three systems we will be talking about now this nearby area here is called surrounding now surrounding and system and all these things together we call the universe so we will be talking about these three things when we talk about the exchange of um, energy matter and other things right now let's focus on uh, system to their system and from their system or by their system right now this one we put a candle into the beaker and add heat so the heat is getting into the water that Q the heat is plus now here we have the lid now what happens uh, we put the lid and then the water vapor is going to be trapped here and you make more and more vapor and it's going to push the lid up so if the lid goes up opens up it's some work right you have to do some work so this steam power the vapor push the lid open right now even in the old days there were trains running using steam power right that's work so the work here is why the system lost that amount of work and the q is gained so that minus w is by the system done work and q plus is to the system heat gained okay now that's how we use it in chemistry in physics it's the other way around okay now here so if i just uh, take away the heating and then now you have hot water it's going to start losing the heat right so that would be minus q now you see earlier i said plus q and now it's minus q now these two situations the two um, states we call the e1 and e2 what is e is internal energy big e that's big e and sometimes we use big u and depending on whether it's a physics class or, or chemistry class and delta e is e final minus e initial or e2 minus e1 so we're going to use this one quite often right now we can also look at um, two systems here a to b let's say again about 10 grams of water 20 degrees and this one let's say 30 degrees right now so what's the difference here there is a difference right so this one is 30 degrees now delta e internal energy is changed that change is delta e internal energy now also you have delta h enthalpy change delta s is entropy change and delta g is free energy change now all these are e h s g are big letters these are we called independent of the path they are constant for that state so that's the big difference now you can think what are the um, state properties state properties are like let's say you are here in this town vancouver right 
and uh, the the city hall the mayor is the same guy whether you come by car or you fly by plane here right uh, go to LA again the mayor and the city hall would be the same thing whether you drive by car or by plane it doesn't change so the path independent properties of um, states are these big letters okay now there are a few other things we want to know intrinsic properties what's the intrinsic properties things like boiling point melting point density and uh, also flash point and also all the chemical properties of it color and, and reactivity and that type of things does not change with the amount you have one drop you have one gram you have 10 moles does not change that so these things are called the intrinsic properties of that matter now what's the other one is extrinsic properties sometimes we call extensive so what's that means these are actually the big letters right so v volume right and m mass for kilograms right and uh, so the v volume means amount could be one liter two liter five liter right and the mass kilogram could be one kilogram half a kilogram one gram something like that depending on the amount it changes that's the extrinsic property so extensive properties now simple Q just know that simple Q is heat amount and work simple W work amount